Good day, everyone. My name is Doug Anderson, and I'm here today to present our project for this hackathon, LibP2PZ Plugins. The idea is to build something once, reuse it anywhere, and have it just work. We've been working on a groundbreaking solution that hacks on LibP2P, a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer library. One of the challenges that developers face when working with LibP2P is the time-consuming process of building protocols on top of it. Our idea is to build plugins that compile the WebAssembly, or WASM, which will save developers time and money by using pre-built protocols that can be easily integrated with LibP2P. There's a lot of benefits to using WebAssembly. We chose WebAssembly as the plugin language because it can be run in any other language like Go, Rust, or JavaScript. This flexibility allows developers to implement the protocol once and integrate it into any system, making it future-proof and modular. You'll notice that this kind of looks like MBC inspired architecture where, you know, the, the UI is the view, the plugin is a controller and libp2p is the data model. The goal here is to foster collaboration. So instead of building everything from the ground up, just use other people's plugins that have implemented a protocol that you want to use and you can hit the ground running. So now on to the demo. Of course, all this code is available on GitHub in addition to the link to the demo page. Now, as you can see, as with all libp2p implementations, all you get is pub sub and the DHT and the peer ID. Let's add a little bit of functionality to this by using a plugin. You can see the reference implementation plugin downloaded from here. If I just download this to my desktop, which I've already got there, now we can use it. So if I load up that WASM file into my app, I now have the ability to publish and subscribe to IPNS in my app just by using the plugin. This UI is, is tuned to using the IPNS, but you could really build any UI to match any plugin. So let's, let's publish a, a hash to IPNS using our plugin. And look at that. The plugin took our hash and our peer ID and did all the proper encoding to publish it on PubSub and it's published uh, using the JavaScript implementation through the browser, but this could also be done in Rust or Go or any other language. And if we wanted to follow a peer ID, we could put a peer ID such as our own peer ID into the subscribe button and click subscribe. And then the same way, the plugin took the peer ID, encoded it, published it on PubSub, and we got a confirmation that we were subscribed. And we would do the same thing if we clicked unsubscribe, it would send an unsubscribe message to our libp2p instance in the browser. And this is all done through the WebAssembly plugin. That's libp2pz, trying to make libp2p easy peasy lemon squeezy. I hope you enjoyed this demo. We'll see you at the next hackathon.